Good evening, sisters and brothers. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. We invite boys who have already gone to First Communion and young professionals to join the Altar Servers Ministry. They are the ones serving at the altar, assisting the presider at Mass. You may approach the chapel office for inquiry. We invite the community to join our Greeters and Collectors Ministry and the Intercessory Prayer Ministry. The Greeters and Collectors Ministry are the ones assisting the Mass goers to find seats and collect offerings. The Intercessory Prayer Ministry leads the community in prayers like the Rosary and Novenas before each Mass. Please approach the chapel office for your inquiry. We invite you for LBS, Liturgical Bible Study, with Father Francis Gustillo, SDB, after the 6 p.m. Mass every Wednesday. Paco Catholic School, College Department, Bachelor of Arts in Religious Studies is now open for enrollees for academic year 2023-2024. PCS is the first parochial school in the Archdiocese of Manila with a tertiary level that aims to produce catechists and formators with professional education subjects eligible to take up licensure examination for teachers or let. Scholarship application is open for early enrollees. For more information, email registrar at pcs.edo.ph or you may call 856-31500, local 638 or 649. We would like to appeal to everyone to keep your mask on while celebrating the Mass for everyone's protection against COVID-19. We would like to request everyone to refrain from clapping our hands at the dismissal of the Mass. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel, Greenbelt Chapel, Santo Nino de Paz. Thank you. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is May 14, and we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter. Today is also Mother's Day. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is our chaplain, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Please stand and let us sing our entrance hymn. Christ is risen, see Hosanna, celebrate this day of days. Christ is risen, hush in wonder, all creation is amazed. In the desert, all surrounding, see a spreading tree has grown. Healing leaves of grace abounded, bring a taste of love unknown. Christ is risen, see. Sa lahat po ng nanay, nanay na nayan, nanay na tatay pa, Happy Mother's Day. Ano po? Happy Mother's Day. This Eucharistic celebration will be offered for your special intentions. Let us begin our Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. 
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great lesson in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relieve in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we, what we do through our Lord Jesus Christ, your, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. 
Now, when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river, they pass on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope. But do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together, whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will, love, will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Merong isang na misis na nagtatanong, sabi niya, Father, bakit kaya hindi ako binigyan ni Lord ng anak? Bakit kaya hindi ako binigyan ni Lord ng anak? Mara, mabait naman kami, nagsisimba kami, mabuting tao kami. Ano po? Nagsiserve kami sa simbahan. Bakit kaya hindi kami binigyan ng Lord ng anak? Yung iba dyan, Father, hindi naman mabuting nanay. Ang daming anak. Ano po? Yung iba nga, anak lang ng anak. Ano po? Ang sabi ko lang sa kanya, sa totoo lang, hindi ko po alam. Ano po? Pag nakita kayo ng Diyos, itanong ninyo bakit. Hindi po ba? Ano? Hindi ko alam. Marahil may alam ang Diyos na hindi ko alam. Definitely at hindi nyo alam. At may mga nangyayari sa mundong ito na hindi naman kailangan ipagpaalam sa iyo ng Diyos. Yung hindi ka magkaanak, hanggang doon na lang dapat. Pero yung sabihin mo na yung ibang nanay na maraming anak na hindi mabuti, hindi tama yun. Sapagkat sino makapagsasabi na ang ibang nanay ay hindi mabuti? Di po ba? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, the gospel speaks of what? We are born... And St. Ignatius of Loyola reminded us that in our birth, we are called to love and serve the Lord. How do you love the Lord? The simplest form of love is to do the commandments. You can never say you love God if you fail to do the commandments. Simple lang naman yun. Sampu lang yun. Hindi po ba? Dapat wala kang ibang Diyos that you will not use the name of God in vain, that you keep Sabbath holy, that you honor your mother and father, thou shall not kill, thou shall not commit adultery, thou shall not steal, thou shall not bear false witness, thou shall not covet thy neighbor's wife, including their husband, and thou shall not covet thy neighbor's goods. Sampo lang yun. Pag sinasabing, mahal mo ang Diyos, tingnan mo yung sampung utos na gagawa mo ba? Kung hindi mo nagagawa lahat, ay di hindi mo mahal na mahal. Pero bahagi sa sampung utos ng Diyos, ang natatanging kautosan na mayroong pangako, ang ano yun? Igalang mo ang iyong ama at ina. You honor your mother and father. And you can find this in the Old Testament, from the book of Serac, that those who honor their mother and father will live a long life. 
And those who love their mother, sa Tagalog, mas maganda. Ang sino mang nagmamahal o nagpaparangal sa kanyang ina ay parang nag-iimpok para sa kanyang kinabukasan. Ibig sabihin, sa pangako kaakibat ng pagmamahal sa, sa isang ina, pinapangako ng Diyos na hindi ka maghihirap. Hindi ka maghihirap. Hindi naman sinabi ng Diyos, yayamang ka. Magkaiba yung yayaman sa hindi maghihirap. Di po ba? Kasi pwede kang mayaman pero naghihirap ka. Paano yun, Father? Ang dami mong pera pero hirap na hirap ka. Ang dami mong bayarin, may sakit ka, kulang ang pera mo, pambili ng gamot. Hindi lahat ng mayaman, masagana. At hindi rin lahat ng mahirap, kapos. You will have enough. Kaya nga pag ikaw ay nagre sa buhay mo ngayon, bakit mahirap ang buhay namin, Father? Well, itanong mo sa iyong sarili. Meron bang pagkakataon nang ikaw ay lumalaki o kaya ngayon, hindi ka gumalang sa iyong ina. Hindi mo pinarangalan, hindi mo minahal. Sa madalit sabi, inaani mo lang ang sukli ng iyong ambag. You are simply reaping the life that you have sowed. Bakit? Kahit sabihin mo, hindi naman naging mabuti ang nanay ko. Hindi naman sinabi sa kautusan, mahalin mo ngayong mga magulang dahil mabuti sila. Hindi sinabi yon. Kahit sino sila, igalang mo. Igalang mo. Kaya nga, kung kaya mo, sa pagkakataong ito, kung kaya mo, gusto ko, tignan mo nanay mo. Titigan mo. Titigan mong mabuti. Hanggang makonsensya. No. Titigan mo lang. Patagalan. You know? Ang unang kumurap, talo. <laughs> Di ba? When was the last time you look at your mother? When was the last time you gaze at the eyes of your mother and you see beyond what you see in her face? Sabi nga nung isang nag apply ng trabaho, nagawa niya lahat. Tapos sabi nung manager, nandun na siya sa, sa top, top management na, yung pinaka-boss na nag interview Handang-handa siya sa sasagot niya. Pero ang tanong ng boss niya, Describe the hand of your mother. Describe the hand of your mother. Hindi niya masagot. Bakit? Ni hindi niya natingnan eh. Ni hindi niya natingnan. Ni hindi niya nahawakan. At sabi ng manager, you go back after knowing the answer. So, umuwi siya at tinanong siya ng nanay niya, kumusta ang interview? Hindi siya makaimik. Hindi siya makaimik. Kasi hindi niya masabi, ang tanong kasi tungkol sa kamay niyo. Di ba? Oh. Tapos, ano, ano, ano nangyari? Hindi ko maintindihan, may. Ang sabi lang niya, describe the hands of your mother. Yung nanay, hindi rin maintindihan. Tapos sabi niya, Ma, patingin nga ng kamay mo. At hinawakan, tinignan, sinalat ang kapal na ng kalyo. Ang kapal na ng kalyo. Yan yung kamay na naglalaba. Yan yung kamay na namamalansya. Di ba? Tignan mo yung kamay ng misis mo. Tignan mo yung kamay. Pag mahaba ang kuko niyan, at magandang magandang kutik ay nako baka hindi nagtatrabaho yan di ba no? baka turo lang ng turo di po ba no? yung kuko niyan pang kurot lang kasi masakit yung pinong-pinong kurot ng kuko eh di po ba no? lalong-lalo na dito sa 
ilalim ng kilikili. Ang sakit-sakit nun. Hindi po ba? Yan ang pangkort ng nanay ko eh. Pero magandang pagtunan ng pansin. Kaya nga, pag nag, nagre-renew ako ng marriage vows, pinapahawakan ko ulit kay mister yung kamay ng misis nila eh. At nakikita nila, ay, hindi na ganun kalambot. ba? Diba? Pag nagkakasal ako, hawakan mo, namnamin mo ang lambot ng kamay ng misis mo. Oh, lambot, lambot. After 5 years, 10 years, 25 years, hindi mo alam kung kamay pa eh. Hindi po ba, ano? O papel dilihan na. Hindi po ba, ano? Bakit? Nagtrabaho yan eh. Nagtrabaho yan. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Kaya nga, pag pinapatingnan ko sa iyong mukha ng nanay mo, ano? Makinis? Ano? Nakikita mo ba yung stress sa mukha ng nanay mo? Di ba? Hindi madaling maging nanay. When we were born, as they say, it does not come with a manual. It comes with a mother. When we were born, it does not come with a manual. It comes with a mother. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, madali lang magreklamo tungkol sa nanay. Pero sana, nakikinig ang mga anak do sa reklamo ng nanay tungkol sa kanila. Di po ba? Sana. Nabasa niyo ba sa post yun, sa Facebook? Ha? Ang ganda ng pagkakapost. Sabi niya, ang haba-haba ng post mo tungkol sa nanay. Pero hindi ka naman mautusan. Di ba? May mga anak na ganun eh. Kung makapag-post, akala mo bait-bait nila. Pero hindi mo pala mautusan. Pag sinabihan mo, pakisuyo naman ito. Yung nguso, mas mahaba sa ilong. Di ba totoo? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, Walang perfectong nanay. But the mother you have is the best for you. The mother you have is the best for you. Hindi mo lang na-appreciate. You only fail to appreciate. But you have to understand this, my dear children. If you fail to do the law, then you will suffer. Because nobody can make a mother except God. Nobody. Nobody. A woman becomes a mother because God has given her the vocation to become a mother. Bukasyon yan. Kaya nga yung mga lalaki, lahat ng lalaki, Hello? Lahat ng lalaki, binata, matanda, may ipin o wala, ano po? Lahat ng lalaki, makinig kayo. Ano yon? Palagi ko itong sinasabi. Never make a woman a mother if you cannot make her your wife. Hello? Tumingin kayo sa akin. Inuulit ko. Never make a woman a mother if you cannot make her your wife. Because it is a vocation. It is a vocation. So all fathers, ibig sabihin ng fathers, may anak ka. You have to love your wife twice. Being your wife, and being the mother of your children. Sana naintindihan ng mga lalaki ito. You love, you have to love your wife twice. Ano ibig sabihin you love, you have to love your wife twice? Nung wala pa kayong anak, kung nagsusulit ka sa kanya, darling, pangpalengke, 5,000. ba? Diba? You love you have to love your wife twice kasi may anak na darling times 2 10,000 
Dapat ganon, di ba? Ano? Oh, father naman. Oh, totoo yan. Anong pinakamahirap? Isa sa pinakamahirap na tungkulin ng nanay, yung mag-budget ng walang pera. Aminin ninyo, di po ba? Ang hirap mag-budget ng walang pera. Tapos, pag-uwi ng, misis, ng mister mo, pag-uwi ng, mi, ng mga anak mo, ito lang ang ulam. Natural. Di po ba, ano? Wala yung pinagkaiba doon sa batang, Ma, anong ulam natin? Tingnan mo sa rep. Ma, wala naman tayong rep, ah. Ay, di wala tayong ulam. Di ba? Again, husband. Husband. You have to love your wife doubly if you have children. If you have failed, after the mass later, you apologize to your wife. Pag ako'y nagkakasal, palagi ko itong sinasabi. Apat na bagay. Apat na ah. Your wife needs to be affirmed, admired, assured. Madaling intindihin yun, di po ba? No? Ano yung pang-apat? Allowance. <laughs> Ba't kayo natatawa? Totoo yun, di po ba? Pag walang pera si Mrs., mainit ang ulo. Hindi po ba? Kasi hindi naman naluluto ang pag-ibig. I love you. O, oh, kainin mo yan. Di po ba? <laughs> Di ba? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Hindi pwede kung kayo ay nagsasyapi, Lazada, puro kayo add to cart. Mayroong bahay. Di ba? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Kailangan ng mga misis ninyo, ng mga nanay na mga anak, ang alin? Aba, Samahan niyo mag-shopping. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Pag sinabi ni Mrs. Sweetheart, wala na akong sabon. Mister, makinig ka. Sweetheart, wala na akong sabon. Wag na wag mo sasabihin, gamitin mo muna yung sabon ko. Tongek. Ang ibig sabihin talaga nun, lumabas naman tayo. Yun yun. Tatlong oras kay sa SM, sa landmark, saan man, tatlong oras kay doon. Uuwi kayong walang sabong binili yan. Kasi hindi niya talaga kailangan ng sabon. Di po ba? Ako na magsasabi. Para hindi lahat sa akin pinapadala mga messages na yan. Ha? Gusto ko sabihin, sabihin mo sa mister mo. Hindi nakikinig pa doon. Bakit? Pag nag-homily ba ako, nakikinig yan? Malay mo, natutulog yan eh. Mulat lang. Di ba? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, if you love God, you do the commandments. And do not forget one of the commandments that comes with the promise is to honor your mother and father. And honoring your mother and father, God will grant you long life. If you honor your mother, love your mother, God will provide for you. Hindi mahirap intindihin yan. Hindi mahirap intindihin. Kaya nga sana palaging Mother's Day, hindi po ba? Sana palaging Mother's Day. Sana naman yung mga anak na sumasahod, anak, anak, makinig ka. Yung sumasahod, Mag-contribute naman kayo sa bahay. Mag-contribute kayo. Simula nung ang anak ay tumutulong na sa pagbabayad sa kuryente, palaging madilim na ang bahay. Oh, patayin mo ilaw. Yung anak na nagsasabing, iihi ka lang, bubuksan mo pa ang ilaw, bakit di mo mapasyot? Kasi pag ikaw na nagbabayad, Ramdam mo na eh, hindi pa ba na? Ramdam mo na. Ha? Anak, wala na tayong sabon. Detergent. Oh, kita mo na, di, tipid ka sa damit mo. 
Mahirap bang intindihin nito? Alam niyo mga anak, you will miss your mother when God will take them away from you. Because nobody can replace a mother. Nobody. Nobody can replace your mother. Anong sabi sa unang pagbasa? Well, that's why we need to pray for our mothers. And I would like to remind mothers that it is your responsibility to bless your children. And you might ask the question, how will I do it, Father? Remember the words of blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you and grant you peace. Nana, yun lang ang kailangan mong memoryahin. Yun lang. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you and grant you peace. And the rest will follow. The rest will follow. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, mother is a gift. Mother is a gift. Walang perfectong nanay sa simpleng dahilan. Ano yun, Father? Walang perfectong anak. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are grateful to the Lord for His promise of the Spirit and the assurance that He will not leave us orphan. With persevering trust in Him who is the God with us, let us direct all our petitions to Him. And let our response be, Lord, you are our hope and our strength. Lord, you are our hope and our strength. That the whole Catholic Church, God's family on earth, may constantly enjoy the presence of Jesus, communion with the Father, and the guidance of the Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, Lord you, you are, are our, our hope, hope and, and our strength. strength. That our civil leaders may uphold the rule of law and promote with special concern the good of all small people, particularly the homeless, the landless, and the unemployed. Let us pray. Lord, you, you are, are our hope, hope and our strength. strength. That, that Israelis and Palestinians may learn to live in harmonious collaboration in the land that has already seen too much bloodshed, hatred, and destruction of lives. Let us pray. Lord, you, you are, are our hope and our strength. 
that all of us may hear and follow God's commandments motivated by love for Him and the desire to please Him. Let us pray. Lord, you are our hope and our strength. For all mothers, may they be caring, gentle, and patient with their children, as Mary was to Jesus. And may they be blessed abundantly for the love they have shown. Let us pray. Lord, Lord you, you are our hope and our strength. strength. Let us pray in silence for our own personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, you are our hope and our strength. Lord Jesus, you are the source of our hope and salvation. Continue to prepare our hearts to receive your spirit of holiness, even as we do our best to show our love for you through the fulfillment of our daily duties. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you get more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through Him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For His death is our ransom from death, and in His rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim.
for those of Anat Neil, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given off for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. I invite everyone to pray for your mother. Ask the Lord to bless your mother. Including your mother-in-law. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Padre Pio, Petro China, and all the saints of Lishu throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the, way, in the very prayer Jesus taught us.
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind. Peace in our own homes and our own families. Peace in our workplace. Peace in our community. Peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And, and with peace. your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. For those outside the chapel, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will be stationed near the bridges to distribute Holy Communion. Kindly form two lines before them. Even when you let go 
Let your hearts be troubled. Do not stay afraid. I'm beyond all anguish or death. I'm risen to life anew. When you feel that you've been empty and can give no more, know that I am your breath and I feel your soul. I am with. Savior live. I can hear him calling tenderly my name. Over sin and death he has prevailed. In his glory, in his new life we partake. I know he lives as he has promised. For me is reason that from fear I may be free. Not even death can separate me from Him whose love and might remain in me. In my heart I know my Savior lives. I can hear Him calling tenderly my name over sea and death he has revealed in his glory in his new life be parted for i have sinned and touch him risen to all the world will i proclaim his majesty with joy I sing to tell his story that in our hearts may live this memory. In my heart I know my Savior lives. I can hear him calling tenderly my name over sin and death he has prevailed. We part. Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrochina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have your presence so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. 
Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches, I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restores us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of His saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, I would like to take the opportunity to bless all mothers who are here. If you can come forward, kindly Kindly come forward. If you cannot come, you can stay in your seat. Mothers, ipagdasal natin nasuklian ng Diyos ang kanilang mga pagluha na why umaman silang lahat. Seryoso ako doon. Oo, oh, seryoso ako doon. Pwede po dito, sa likod. Wala. Ang dami pala. Atin pong ituon ang ating mga kamay tungo sa kanila. Tingin natin ang pagpapala ng Diyos na manahan sa kanila. Ama naming mapagmahal sa araw na ito ng mga nanay, idinudulog po namin ang lahat ng nanay na narito. Gayun din ang mga kasama namin sa online mas. Kilala mo ang bawat isa sa kanila, Panginoon. Nawa po ay hipuin mo sila. Lukuban mo sila ng iyong banal na espiritu. Nawa po'y ingatan mo sila, ilayo mo sila sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan. Patuloy mo silang pagkaluban ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at kung sino man sa kanilang may karamdaman sa makapangyarihang pangalan ni Jesus na tagan Nazaret, pagkaluban mo po sila na kagalingan. Panginoon, anuman ang mga pagluha, sakit, sa manang loob, pagkatapot, Pangamba, Panginoon, hilumin mo ang kailang mga puso. 
Batid mo, Panginoon, ang kaliyang mga pagtawat, pagluha, kahinaan at kalakasan, mga kabiguan at tagumpay. Alam mo rin ang kaliyang mga pangarap, hindi lang para sa kaliyang mga sarili, kundi para sa kaliyang mga mahal sa buhay. Panginoon, nawa po sa lahat ng kaliyang mga iniisip at ginagawa. Tulungan mo sila. Gabayan mo sila. Kung meron man silang pinagdadaan ng suliranin o problema sa buhay, sa kasalukuyan, tuwangan mo sila. Alisin mo po ang kailang mga pagkatakot at pangamba. Dagdagan mo po ang kailang mga pananalig at pananampalataya sa iyo. Panginoon, nawapo ang kanya-kanya nila mga pamilya saan man naroroon. Ang pamilya nila ay pagharian mo ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, Puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Dagdagan mo po ang kalilang mga kasayahan sa buhay. Tustusan mo po ang kalilang buhay. Dagdagan mo po ng kasaganahan ang kalilang mga hapagkainan. Ang kalilang pangangailangang pinansyal. Panginoon, nawa po ipagkalob mo ang kalilang mga panalangin. Sa kalilang mga pasaway na anak, Nawa po, Panginoon, dagdagan mo kayo mga pagmamahal at pasensya. Nawa po'y mayroong pagbabago sa mga anak na matigas ang ulo. Panginoon, alam mo ang mga panalangin ng bawat isa. Kayo na po ang magregalo sa mga balo na ngayon sila lahat ang tumatayo. Dagdagan mo, Panginoon, ang biyaya na para sa kanila. Kung ano man po makabubuti, makababanal, makasasaya, makauunlad na kalimang mga buhay, kayo na po ang magbigay. Sa tulong at panalain mga banal, lalong-lalo po ng mahal na birhen, gayon din ay San Jose, ang tapat niyang esposo, at ang aming patron, Padre Pio na Petrochina, pagpalain mo po ang mga nanay na ito, sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Kung ano man ang inyong ikayayaman, ipagkalob sana ng Diyos. Say Amen! Amen! Yeah, ganyan talaga. Ano po? Ha? Wala tayong kanta sa mga nanay, no? Ha? Sana po, maramdaman yung pagpapala ng Diyos. Going back to what I've said, if you are here, because you have a mother. If you have friends, because we have mothers. If you are, if you have husband, why? Because you have a mother. Love your mother-in-law. Si father naman, porque wala siyang mother-in-law. Marami. May mother butler, kung ano-ano. Whether you like it, even Jesus to be human has to be born of a woman. Sana maintindihan natin ang kahalagahan ng nanay. Love your mother and you will be rewarded according to the goodness of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy Mother's Day. Si awit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsi awit sa Panginoon. Purihin, purihin ang kanyang pangala. Ipayag, ipayag ang dulot niyang kaligtasan. Magsi awit kayo sa Panginoon. 
Alleluia, Maxi Awita Pangino. Thank you, sisters and brothers.